Hi there, small business owner. My name's John. I'm from Young Digital Group. We help small business with innovative online marketing strategies to help improve sales and marketing. And on this video, I want to briefly touch upon email marketing and how important that can be for your business. You see, with social media, um, it's a great way to get in front of a large amount of people and if someone likes what you're doing, you know, they can share it with their friends and that's all great. But that's also to if someone actually sees what you're doing on those social networks. So you have to have those, you know, those eyes on the page in the news stream or on the Twitter account, or whatever it happens to be. But with an email campaign, that's in someone's inbox. So that's you know actually in there and they've received that, so they have to action that. And if they open it, well, that's ideal. That means that their attention is on your email and only your email there. So that's the hardest part, getting someone to open your email and then you know reading the content. But if you can do that, then what you're doing is you're able to get a message to them that could be, say, uh, industry news, or it could be a, a time-related offer, it could be a coupon, but it, it should speak directly to their interests or how it can benefit their life. And if you can do that, I mean, if there's a lot of ifs in here, but um, let's assume the, the the perfect scenario where you send an email out, that email is opened, the offer is you know, uh, one that the reader uh, loves and wants to act upon, well, they then follow that call to action. And then they do what you would require. And that might be a like on Facebook, it could be to buy uh, a product, or it, you know, it could be to make an inquiry, you know, whatever you've defined there. So that means by sending an email, you're getting a return for that. When you have a large database of uh, clients and customers, and not all of them are going to be sitting there watching your Facebook page, but I would say a pretty good portion of those are going to have an email address. So if they give you permission to send them um, emails through a, a marketing system, an email marketing system, then send them information, industry news, related offers, Something that's going to help them, whether it be in their business life or personal life, um, something that is related to what you do and something that they need. And if you can do that, then you are the battle's halfway done, and you can, um, you know, you can start to convert a percentage of those people because not everyone's going to open the email, and not everyone that opens the email is going to follow that call to action. So. You're, you're speaking to a small percentage and it's that small percentage that are going to follow that call to action. So if you can define what that is, if you can make it clear, if you can um, you know, create that, that, that process in your email and then get it out to enough people that are interested in what you do, um, then you can you know, get a response, get the right call to action. Avoid buying lists. Don't go out and buy a list, send an email, even if you think the email is the best thing that's ever been written. Um, my advice is don't buy a list and don't send an email to a bought list because um, I would consider that spam email and I'm pretty sure that there's spam laws that do, that, that do cover that and would suggest that that's also um, spam because the people that you'd be sending that to have not agreed for you to send them information. Just because you've bought a list doesn't mean that it's okay. So the best thing you can do is to ask your existing customer base if it would be all right if you could put them onto your email marketing system and have a system set up for new customers or new leads where they can enter their details to stay up to date with um, news and information. And if you don't know what to put on there, well, ask your customers. Find the top 10 customers that you have and ask them if they were to receive a regular email from your business or company, what would be the best thing to receive? Now, would that be coupons? Would it be you know offers? Would it be industry news? Um, you know, 
ask them what they would like to receive and you might get a combination of different things. Maybe you can put all that together into one newsletter. If there's nothing definitive, well then work out the best solution for your business or the, the best thing that you can offer and test it. Send one type of email out one month then maybe a different the next and test it. That's the, the best thing you can do. Send it out. How many opens did you get? How many people clicked on it? You know, how many people followed that call to action? And then the next month, could you do better by changing a few you know, key things? And as you grow your email list, and if you can improve on that, and if you can get more people to click uh, when they need to click, uh, buy when they need to buy, do that action, well then you can start to improve your sales or your online profile, your brand awareness, all that sort of stuff. Now, if you'd like help with developing an email marketing strategy, that's what Young Digital Group can do for you. And if that's something that you know you want to start now, well get in contact with us by following the link below. And by hitting subscribe, that will mean you keep up to date with all the news information, uh, how-to advice uh, from Young Digital Group. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.